Welcome back everybody. So, today I have something interesting for you, special for you, that I found in one of our cheap shops sort of thing. It's a brand I have used before. I don't know if I've used it on camera, but I have used it quite a few times. Not this type of supply, but this brand. And it is called Montmartre. So, what I have for it for us today. I've already swatched it and put it away, so I've got all these little tubes just chilling. Is the Montmartre watercolor paint. Oops, camera, camera, camera. So this little baby, I've been looking for this sort of thing that's reasonably cheap for a while now. Because I've seen quite a few different artists do it and I figure I wanted to give it a shot too. But yeah, this guy, the, the beauty of this one is that you can let it dry on a palette as I have kind of in here. Which you can see here, I've got the purple, the blue, the browns, and the greys because I've also got the rest of them in little, little itty bitty tubes to start with because there's 18 colours and I couldn't obviously fit all in this tray. So I put them in some itty bitty trays, hoping one day I can get a proper tray just for these watercolours. But for the moment, I'm going with that. Now for this drawing, I am doing something a little bit rainbowy because I wanted to use as many colors as I could in one drawing. Yes, I could do a dragon, which I want, I wanted to, but I draw dragons way too goddamn much, way too much. So you might see my hands, my shadows. Um, this guy is three macaws, the three different colors. So that one of them is going to be one, the blue macaw, like the mostly dark blue with the yellow in the, in the eye. One of these is going to be the red based one and the other one's going to be the yellow based macaw. So let's get started. 